remember. So let's move on to the our life of the presentation today. We are going to divide this talk into five parts. First, introduction. Secondly, a target market. First, a for analysis and recommendation. And now, finally, conclusion. So let's move on to the introduction for the company and also for the product. Just like in the Swiss company established in 1966, one of the most largest food company in the world. Good food, good life is the company's slogan with the target is to become a nutrition, health, health and wellness company. Particular in Vietnam or Nestle and popular in Vietnam in 1994 and over the first factory in 1999 in the Nairobi. Nestle is an international brand and it's uh, be a strong domestic competitor. According to their report, in just 2015, they sell more than 100,000 tons of Milo products. And uh, Milo contain a lot of necessary vitamin and nutrition to nurture the healthy body, especially for the children aged from 5 to 13. So now let's move on to the target customer. Following the 80-20 rules, uh, rule to identify the potential customer group that has the most important on this product. Uh, the potential customer of the Nestle Miller is the parents who have the small children. They are aged from 25 to 39 and um, is the middle and high income. They are raising children, children, children aged from 5 to 13 and uh, live mostly in the urban city, especially in the Ho Chi Minh and Hanoi. So let's move on. After this part, we are going to analyze and Give some relevant recommendations for the marketing for me. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing mix, also called the marketing for me, created by McCarthy in the 1960s, is one of the most important factors to achieve the custom company objective by planning all four elements product, price, play, and promotion. So now let's move on to the product. I will talk about the first element in the product. I will divide it into four parts. The first is the level of the product. There are three levels. The most basic level is the customer value. In this level, they, uh, uh, they uh, uh, deserve the customer demand. Uh, so when you go buy the meal, they must concern about the healthy ingredients. So a uh, model has many uh, vitamins and minerals in the product, such as calcium, iron, vitamin A, and C. The second level is called extra product. In this level, the product planner must concentrate about the uh, packaging feature and the quality. About the packaging, they review the environmental impact of its packaging. About the feature of the active ED formula, uh, ED, a unique formula to provide a sufficient energy for the customer. About the quality, according to the Ghana Health.com, a minor work award for the food and beverage category for its excellence in quality and standard over the years. The last level is called ultimate product. Uh, in this level, they offer the additional customer survive and benefit around their uh, car value and uh, actual product. About, uh, in the Milo term, they provide a gift for the people who buy the process of Milo RTD. The second part in the product is the survive and product classification. It divides into two types, consumer products and the manufacturing products. And Milo is a part of consumer products because uh, they are bought by the final, cus final customer for the person of use. In this part, it divides into four types, convenience, shopping, uh, specialty, and unsafe products. Milo is a convenient product because it can be bought immediately, frequently with the minimum buying effort and uh, minimum conversion. Uh, our group has done uh, the survey during nine days from 5th December to the 14th December 2016 with uh, more than 100 respondents uh, and the results show that 68.3% uh, uh, people buy Milo without thinking carefully. It's proved that Milo is exactly the convenient product. Uh, the third part of the product is the product trading. About the brand decision uh, attribute, Milo promo by showing its healthy ingredient and unique formula. About the benefit, Milo will be young there, uh, healthy ingredients to talk about the benefit. 
All that the belief and value my logo by the small, even for children to encourage them to play sport. About the brand name selection, my low name is inspired from the famous ancient athlete in Greece. <laughs> About the brand sponsorship, my low in manufacturer brand, uh, brand development, they use the right strategy to re develop their brand uh, to be more specific. My low it begin at the my powder, then they develop their brand by, up, uh, by use more options such as my low origin in cotton bottle. It came in a plastic bottle. The last part of the product is the product life cycle. Milo E in the maturity state because their product growth is slowing and they are facing to the TV competition. The second element is price. Okay, so let me ask the price. The first pricing strategy I would like to introduce is a very great pricing. So compared to it, uh, great is direct competitors overseas. They were both set for the price of around 25,000 Vietnam Nam Dong. However, Milo is slightly more expensive. Um, this is because the value price based pricing, Milo is focused mainly on its target customer. Therefore, um, the price doesn't make it lost the market share to overseas. And since the, it is the fair price for its value and quality. The next one is the discount pricing. In Milo specific case, it's the quantity discount. So here are the three main options for customer when you choose to buy Milo RTD. The first one is the single product, whose price is widely set in the convenience store chain such as Circle K at about 5,500 Vietnam Dong. Um, the remaining two is buying in bulk. Um, in specific, it's the pack of four products and the wholesale box of 48 products. Um, which also apply the quantity discount. It can be seen that the average price of each product in these two packs is uh, cheaper compared with the single product. Um, the quantity discount on the four pack uh, on the pack of four products achieves the positive response since our survey show that the majority of customers prefer to buy it. However, the quantity discount doesn't work effectively on the wholesale box. The next one, um, so the advantages of the quantity discount is that it attracts more customers and increase in the revenue since the quantity so increased. However, it makes the profit per product decrease. The next one is the psychological pricing, um, which would bring the psychological impact. Um, so the pack of four products has been set with an art price, uh, with an art number of 500 Vietnam Dong. This would make the customer associated with the 7,000 rather uh, 27,000 rather than 28,000. Um, hence, it makes the pack uh, cost cheaper. Um, the next one is the price anchoring, where the seller will put the original price uh, next to the discounted one, so that the consumer can recognize the benefit they will gain when they choose to buy the upper pack. Um, so the advantage of this is that it attracts more customers since it brings um, greater deal price. However, if the seller abuses price anchoring, it will bring negative impact. Um, since second example of Lazada, they put a high original price. Um, it can be seen that it's an unrealistic, unrealistic price next to the discounted one. Um, so the customer can easily find the actual price by using their mobile devices. Um, it will lead to distrust. Uh, next, we will move to place. Um, so the company doesn't sell it um, product directly directly to the consumer. However, they use uh, a middleman. So uh, Milo has been set with a conventional distribution channel. The finished product in the factory would be transferred to the customer through two steps. The first one is the wholesalers, such as marketing intermediaries or the local wholesalers, will buy the product from the factory and then they will resell it to the retailers, such as supermarket, grocery store, or convenience stores, where the customer usually come and buy Milo for their daily needs. Um, so, working effectively with these intermediaries would bring um, direct impact on selling the product. Um, according to uh, Vietnam News, Coopmark and Big C are the uh, two uh, supermarket brands um, that rank the uh, highest revenue earned at the, as Milo official retailers. 
um, the convenience store chain such as formerly Mark, Circle K, Shop and Go um, are experiencing their health with growth due to uh, Vietnamese people busy life. Um, this is uh, the place where the uh, customer usually visit to buy Milo. And the third one is the grocery store. However, it has less regulation to the company. Um, the advantages of this place is that it reaches more customers since the product is um, uh, provided in convenient and more diversified places, How, and therefore it increases the sales. However, Milo has no independent store, and it causes the vertical conflict between the companies and the consumers. Next, we will move to promotion. Okay, so the last but not least important B of the marketing mix is promotion. For Milo Oddly Milk, National Vietnam applied one strategy with three promotion tools, which are advertising, public relations, and sales promotion. So first, let's take a look at some advertising tools. So TV commercial is the strongest media attack for advertising Milo Oddly Milk. And 56.4% of respondents from our survey said they usually see Milo ads on TV. These commercials create a very memorable brand image, which is usually about a sporty boy drinking Milo milk. However, the repetition of this concept for many years has become boring to customers. That's why 56.4% of people said they wouldn't buy Milo milk after watching these commercials. And Milo should be worried because this may lead to a decrease in sales and customers. So next, let's take a look at the advertising on the internet. You can easily access to these three websites to know more about Milo Milk, Facebook, YouTube, and Milo Vietnam website. So a good point in Milo's strategy for this advertising tool is that they provide latest news every day. Also, Milo build good relationships with customers by answering all their inquiries on Facebook. But a drawback in the Milo's advertising on the internet is the low rate of popularity at only 19%, which means Milo's strategy doesn't have efficiency. So another place for you to see Milo ads is simply on the street. There are various ways to put the ads outdoors, such as bus stop or outside the supermarket. According to Color 2011, this advertising tool doesn't only have low cost, but also attracts customers passing by these spots every day. So moving on to public relations, uh, Milo organized many sport events for children across Vietnam, and these events received a decent rate of public awareness at 57% based on our survey. And Milo definitely differs from other milk brands because they invite basketball coach and the most famous football player in Vietnam to appear in exclusive teaching videos for football and basketball. So in terms of sales promotion, Milo has many advertising specialties which are useful for children in different occasions. For example, bags and bikes for the school year and quarter bottles for the summer.